Husha, Hosea, 12. Ephraim feeds on wind and follows after the east wind. He daily increases lies and desolation, and they do cut a covenant with the Ash-Sharim, and oil is carried into Mitzrayim. Yahua has also a controversy with Yahuda, and will punish Yahuv according to his ways. According to his doings, will he recompense him? He took Eth his brother by the heel in the womb, and by his strength he had power with El Elohim. Yea, he had power over the angel, and he prevailed. He wept and made supplication unto him. He found him in Beit El, and there he spoke with us. Even Yahua Elohai Savaoth. Yahua is his mention. Therefore turn to your Elohim, guard mercy and judgment, and wait on your Elohim continually. He is a merchant. The balances of deceit are in his hand. He loves to oppress. And Ephraim said, Yet I am become rich. I have found me out substance. In all my labors they shall find none iniquity in me that were sin. And I that am Yahua Eloheka from the land of Mitzrayim will yet make you to dwell in tabernacles as in the days of the solemn feast. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Is there iniquity in Galad? Surely they are vanity. They sacrifice bullocks in Gilgal. Yea, their altars are as heaps in the furrows of the fields. And Yaakov fled into the country of Aram, and Yashadael served for a woman, and for a woman he guarded sheep, and by a prophet Yahua brought Eth Yashadael out of Mitzrayim, and by a prophet was he guarded. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly. Therefore shall he leave his blood upon him, and his reproach shall his Adonai return unto him.